The sling's capacity needs to be reduced if you are not lifting in the direction of the pull. You can be towing as well, but again, if the rigging hardware, wire rope, chain, nylon web sling, whatever you're using, is not in the direction of the force, you're going to have to reduce its rated uh, safe work load or same thing as working load limit WLL that's just a little funny there okay so and this reduction comes from the fact that I have shown in the previous video with these force gauges that when the slings are going on an angle it places a stress on them more than a combined stress on the both of them that's more than the actual weight of the load being lifted. So let's take a look at a sample calculation how this uh, capacity reduction comes about and what you need for it is you need to measure headroom that's from the top of the load to the top of the hook okay because at the top of the hook is where the right angle triangles tip ends this being the uh, vertical leg on the triangle this being the horizontal leg on the triangle and the force gauge or your sling being the hypotenuse on the triangle and it meets up there on the top of the hook okay not on the underside of the hook so that's headroom sorry this wants to rotate away and I can't hold it that way and this is length of sling headroom will be H length of sling will be L so what you do is you take the working load limit of something and you have to multiply it by a reduction factor and this reduction factor has to do again with this angle but we can't measure angle nobody is walking around with a compass and a protractor so what we can do is I work with the the height no, sorry the headroom and the length and what you do is you divide the headroom with the length of the sling to get this reduction factor and then you multiply it by the working load limit of the chain wire rope nylon web sling whatever you're working with so let me just look at a previous number that we that we worked with how about my welded chain link I had the grade 70 transport chain and it has a working load limit of 4700 pounds so I'm gonna put 4700 here and I'm gonna need to multiply it by a fraction a reduction a reduction sorry a reduction factor and out when I was lifting it I measured that my height was 26 inches and the length of the sling was 32 inches so if I enter all this on a calculator 26 times sorry divided by 32 0 0.8 there's my reduction factor that by this factor because it's less than 1 my 4700 amount will be reduced by 0 0.8 so times it by the 4700 so my chains are only good for 3800 pounds plus change but just round it down a little bit so that's the number I'm gonna write down just 3818 in there so if your load is configured in a way that the that the headroom is 26 inches and the uh, sorry and, and the length of the sling is 32 inches that means that it's 4700 pound capacity is now reduced to only 3800 pound uh, capacity so if you're trying to lift a 4,000 pound load with this configuration it's not gonna work 
in a vertical sing in a vertical pool in a single vertical hitch configuration it could very well work but as soon as you make an angle with the chain it's not gonna work and there you have it so 4,000 pounds will be out of bounds so whatever you do on the job site don't angle the slings and the chains much okay even in a basket hitch try to keep the legs on the basket hitch as close to vertical as possible on a choker if you have a pipe and you have your choker around it don't cinch it down and don't push it down no no lift it towards the hook so that the legs on the choker are as close to vertical as possible because the uh, steeper the angle is uh, the, the further apart the uh, they are from vertical uh, the worse it's gonna be and the greater the reduction factor will be on the website here let's just get closer to the screen a little bit then I can zoom in so you can see you have the same idea here with with these triangles that that uh, when you have the basket hitch basket hitches legs on a vertical 90 degrees to the horizontal if you're lifting a thousand pound load that that leg is carrying 500 and that leg is carrying 500 super nice but if you are uh, only 30 degrees to the horizontal now the thousand pound load places a thousand pound tension in each of the legs on the sling and it's not a happy situation what you see here is some reduction factors that they call that they call load angle factors yes it's a reduction factor due to the angle of the sling you can see angles there but you can't measure these angles on the job site so this table here is somewhat limited in use and you can see this load angle factors 1.2 whatever these numbers these are not reduction factors these are stress factors but uh, they are very similar to the capacity reduction factors if you watch both of my videos side by side you can see that the stress factor is uh, generated by the division of dividing the length of the sling by the headroom and the reduction factor is generated by dividing the headroom with the length of the sling so just the other way around so that's that's what you see here on this website and uh, some images there but that's basically the calculation and that's the idea take some measurements do some math 